So another reason why we, uh, we get the UNESCO World Heritage Site in Penang, uh, apart from the unique architecture, the second reason is because of the living heritage here in Georgetown. So in Georgetown, when you walk around, you will see there are lots of traditional businesses. They are still running the same way as how is it since the old day, right? So uh, in Penang, uh, just now we've been going through the Goddess of Mercy Temple. So in the Goddess of Mercy Temple, you'll see there are a lot of joysticks, the praying sticks, uh, they've been, been, been praying there. So uh, why there is a praying sticks that origin with? So if let's say you look at uh, Buddhism as a religion itself, Buddhism originated from India and uh, uh, originally in, in uh, Buddhism when it started from India, they don't use joystick to pray. Eh? So joystick uh, praying is only came into China uh, during the Song Dynasty. So that time uh, during the Song Dynasty, uh, this joystick was used initially by the government as a disinfection property because in these uh, joysticks, they use a high grade, uh, they have using these sandalwoods and agarwoods as a main ingredients. And these sand sandalwoods and agarwoods, when you burn it, they have so-called the disinfection property to disinfect the areas from any diseases and bacteria, right? So back then, uh, this was used and eventually as time goes by, because uh, there are lots of people who crowded at the temple area for praying, as uh, times goes by, people tend to use this joystick as part of the prayers to the God. But without knowing that that is actually to disinfect the areas rather than to pray uh, to the God. Today, it changes along the time and joystick today has been used more on the praying purposes rather than for disinfection, right? So uh, for these joysticks today that we have, you can't compare, compare the joystick today that we have with the joystick that we have in the old day. The joystick that we have in the old day, it was used, as I mentioned, used sandalwoods and agarwoods as a key ingredients to make the joysticks. But today, most of the joystick that we have, they are made from uh, 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 chemical, right? It's no longer that good for your health, uh, may not be that good for your health uh, when you burn it. But luckily here in Penang, we still have one more person that still insists of uh, uh, making joystick using the traditional way, each by, by his own hand. And today, uh, he is the oldest joystick maker in the world uh, that uh, at the age of 93 years old, he still insists on making the joystick each by his own hand. So let's say look at the street arts that we have here. These street arts tell you more about our uh, culture of praying here in Penang by using uh, incense, candles and flowers uh, to pray for our goddess here. And the key things about this incense uh, is made by, most of it uh, was made by this uh, uh, person, which is the oldest joystick maker in the world. And he's also one of the third reason why we get the UNESCO World Heritage Sites. So come, I'm going to bring you to see this guy, a very special guy. So this is Mr. Lee here. So uh, he's the oldest joystick maker in the world. Uh, uh, as per now, he's already at the age of 93 years old. You can see Mr. Lee is still very strong and fit and uh, he's still pretty much uh, doing this joystick almost every day. Right? So uh, a lot of people ask the questions of Mr. Lee, hey, how can you by the age of 93 years old still so strong and so fit, right? So uh, he always shared uh, with us uh, some of his, uh, I, uh, his, his methodology of how to stay that healthy throughout the whole, whole lifetime of him. So he said that you no know, first thing, of course, uh, uh, the first reason is because of the ingredient that he used. So all the joystick that he burned in this house that he made is all made by organic ingredients, all organic. Huh? So all made by the sandalwoods and these uh, agarwoods and uh, other key ingredients that make when you breathe, when you smell it, you actually help you to improve your body health, right? And this infection, some, some of the diseases in the areas. So this, because of that, one of the main reason, because of the ingredient he used, he stayed that fit. Eh? The second reason is because he have a very good mentality, right? So he always share with us that he said, you know, all these questions like why, who, how, what, and etc. All these are five W1H questions. They are all a question that will create pressure to you, right? So for him, he don't look at these questions. For him, he felt that all the questions will automatically come with the answer. So he feel that everything will come into time and there is explanation for everything. So he doesn't pressure himself. He's stress-free. So without stress, with the good ingredients, this is why he stays so fit 
for so many years here. So Mr. Lee has been our superstar here in uh, Penang, Georgetown. So a lot of people that came over here into Georgetown just to look for him. Right? Because he's one of the very few in the world now that still insisted on uh, making joystick every day using his bare hand. Uh, so today, uh, I'm going to show it to you how they make the, the, the joysticks. So one of uh, the things is that apart from the stick style, they also make the cone style. Right? So uh, if let's say you can see here, so this lady uh, is actually the, uh, the, the, the wife of the, the son of this uh, Mr. Lee. So he's making the cone here. Each of these cone is a uh, key ingredient they use here is the agar woods mixture with heja woods. So you can see each of these, you will make it into a round shapes and then you will mold it into a triangular so that when you burn it, you can burn the whole thing down. Right? This is one of the key ingredients that we have here. Right? So let's go in, we are going to have a look more. As you can see here, these are the uh, joystick cone. So apart from the stick versions that usually you see, usually you see, you can also see there is a cone version here. So this cone version, they use the uh, natural ingredients of, uh, uh, as you can see here, for agar woods, and uh, the mixture of uh, agar woods, and so sometimes they mix it with sandal woods, and then they, they will make it into a round shape and uh, wrap it into a triangular bowl. Uh, because of this triangle mold, they can actually fire, you can uh, fire it on the top, and then the smoke will run, run around it, right? So this is a cone model, right? How they make it. So all these they use hand to 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 make it uh, to make this uh, joystick here, right? So later on I'll be introducing you to the son of Mr. Lee. Uh, he's the current uh, uh, the the operation manager here in this uh, store. So he will introduce to you more about the, uh, the 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 joystick that they have here, right? So let's go. All right. So now we will introduce you to our uh, our friend here. He's the son of Mr. Lee. So, if let's say look at his face, he looked a little bit like Tak Shin. <laughs> Tak Shin, uh, the former, former premier of Thai, Thailand, right? He looked a little bit like him, but he is not him. So, don't come and look for him because of that, right? So, uh, he's uh, the current operation manager here for this uh, store. So, let him to introduce to you more about the joystick that they have here, right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, basically, uh, most of our products are all organic, you see. We don't use any chemicals or whatsoever, and uh, the material that we are use, presently using are sandalwood, agar wood, Tibet holy grass, even the Artemisia argi. This Artemisia argi, there's a, a word in Mandarin they call ai chao. You see, this Artemisia argi indirectly uh, is being used, you know. To, uh, to expel mosquitoes too. It can be used to expel mosquitoes. So, and uh, we make into joysticks and cones alike, you see. And uh, we have been doing this, uh, uh, this trade for more than, you know, uh, 60 over years. It's just because on and off we have to upgrade our product, you see. And uh, let me introduce to you, this is a set of handmade, uh, handmade joysticks, which was all handmade by my dad. And my dad, after doing the joysticks, he will write in Mandarin, bless the whole family, live in peace and harmony. That is He Chia Ping An. Then in English version, we have got all the blessings here, such as prosperity, longevity, harmony, good luck, good health and uh, happiness, you see. We even have the version of this Chinese Ang Ku Kui, you see. It's all, uh, we are using a certain mold, but indirectly we use hand to paint it, you see. It has got the words of Fu, that is luck, and So, that is for longevity, you see. So, at the, for those of our customers, they came over, they will buy this product. Then at the back of it, they can write their name and their wishes. And uh, after prayers, they will just uh, burn it uh, for the God, you see. And uh, it's like text messaging to the God, you see. Okay. 
So I heard that there is also another one that uh, currently a lot of Indonesian they love to buy, right? Which was that? Uh? Oh, uh, uh, this one is we are using the Tibet holy grass. Tibet holy grass we mix with agar wood. Uh, most important thing is that this Tibet holy grass it can expel negativity activities. P xie, they can call it P xie in Mandarin. Then the agar wood it can help. To uh, let, it can act like an aroma therapy, whereas it can mix us, especially those who are elderly person feel relaxed, and they can uh, those who have got problem in sleeping after inhaling, then they can feel relaxed and they can sleep well. Really. So it has got a uh, few certain uh, ingredient in in such a way that they can uh, eradicate negativity activities, especially. Uh, if you feel that the environment is uh, uh, surrounding environment is uh, quite uh, disturbing, then you can just uh, burn a piece or two, then you can know the results. Okay. So, if let's say they are not Buddhist, okay, right? Let's say they are Christians, like Catholic. Oh, can they use for these spring purposes as well? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Our, for us, uh, it's all multi-purpose. A lot, uh, most of the our customers, they are from, they are even Christians. We even have got the uh, frankincense. Frankincense we make is sandalwood, because normally frankincense, if we were to burn for those Catholic, they goes to the church, then they will feel. No, the strong uh, smell of the frankincense. But when we mix with sandalwood, it can act like an aromatherapy. So you won't feel the, the strong smell of the frankincense and you can feel it's more relaxing. So we have got lots of uh, tourists, uh, especially those from Germany, they love to buy this, this product. You see. And uh, for your info, the local locals people, they used to pray to the Dato, you know, the Dato Kong. Uh, then they, they will be buying this one from us too. So it can act, the, it will please the Dato when you burn this frankincense, you see. Alright. Okay, okay, okay. So that is Mr. Lee, and uh, thanks for your uh, uh, for listening to this. And this is the products that we have uh, for Mr. Lee here. And uh, again, uh, we'd like to encourage you, if let's say you pay a visit into Penang in the future, please make sure you spend some time to come to this kind of living heritage in Georgetown, especially come to Mr. Lee and show his supports to, to him, right? And thank you, right? Thank you. We're going to the next stop now.